Okay, um, this stream is specifically for WW2K uh, themselves. They've asked me to record exactly what is happening with these uh, moves that the artificial intelligence computer cannot hit. So I'm going to show you these 17 moves that cannot be hit by the computer when set as signatures and finishers. So I've created two wrestlers. Uh, to start this off, AI Finisher Tester 1 and AI Move Tester 2. Just to differentiate them, I gave them slightly different names. Um, I did not give them any stats. They have no OMGs or any abilities. or uh, So they are default. We're going to go ahead and uh, normal edit them so we can change their signatures and finishers. And I will show you exactly what is the issue. This was a WW2K17 issue as well. I did not... Um, check further back than that but I know that last year when the pop-up power slam became a move I wanted to set it as a finisher for m one of my creator wrestlers it would not allow me to do so so we're gonna go to signatures here and specifically let me explain what these 17 moves are okay there are moves that can be done in the rope rebound position uh, but there are specific moves that can not be done um, from any other position. You see the arm drag 2 here can be done from standing front as well. The arm trap can be done running or rope rebound. Standing front rebound. Standing front rebound. Running. Well, here's our first move that the only possible way to hit the move is off of a rope rebound, meaning your opponent has to be running directly at you or you have to have thrown them off the ropes and them coming back in order to hit the move. Now, the AI can hit these when assigned as a rope rebound move. They, the AI actually will occasionally throw someone on the ropes and do this, or as a reversal, maybe hit one of these type of moves. But when put as a signature or finisher, the computer will not hit them. There are 17 of these. There's belly-to-belly -belly suplex. I'm going to go through them all. There's hip toss neckbreaker 2. Hip toss 2. Hip toss 6. Hip toss 10. Yeah, a lot of these moves are not ones that m almost anybody would choose as finishers. Or maybe even signatures. But I don't understand why they're available to choose. The Her Karana DDT. The Japanese Arm Drag 1. The Japanese Arm Drag 2. The Pop-Up Power Slam, which I personally... I would choose this as a move for... Uh, Braun Strowman as a second finisher, but I can't because the AI will not hit it. Power Slam 5. The Rebound Gut Punch. The Repeating Head Slam. The Sleeper Slam 1. The Spin Side Slam. The Spinebuster 14. I don't know why I said the word Z there. Just Spinebuster 14. Tilt a Whirl, Backbreaker 2. Wheelbarrel Suplex 2. Wheelbarrel Suplex 3. I believe that is the last one, but we'll double check. Yes, okay. So those are the 17 moves that you cannot hit, uh, or the artificial intelligence, the computer cannot hit in a match. So to prove it, uh, we are going to do it a number of different ways. First thing we're going to do is set two different AIs, uh, two different creator wrestlers that are going to be my test dummies, and we're going to put these moves as both signatures and both finishers. So we'll actually do four different moves on each creator. So, so we're just going to go in order here. So belly to belly as one signature. I am on signatures, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So belly to belly. Oh, i got to switch... Go all the way back to uh, rope rebound only. And the second one is the hip toss neckbreaker 2. Oh. Outside. We'll make sure not to make this match a um, uh, it'll be a, one, a regular one-on-one -on -one match. So they're inside the ring. If they're outside the ring, obviously they can hit outside the ring signatures and finishers. 
Uh, okay, apparently I didn't. I never set to them to have a second finisher, so we'll only be able to do uh, one finisher here. <clears throat> So we'll do, uh, we did hip toss, neck breaker two last time, we'll do hip toss two. Unless I botched that, I'll make sure I did a different one. Yes, hip toss two and hip toss neck breaker two. Two different moves. Okay, so those are his signatures and finishers. There are no MGs, no comebacks, no leverage pins, Royal Rumble, doesn't matter, but... Uh, so he doesn't have any other things to do other than the signature and the finisher stated. So this is uh, AI finisher tester number one. Now we're going to go change AI tester number two. We're going to change the signature here to the next move in order. Which I believe is hip toss six. Yes. And then hip toss ten, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. Something popped up on my Xbox. Uh, <laughs> I'm very easily distracted in normal things. So there we go. Um, yes, it did six. Now here's ten. So then the oh, the finisher we're gonna set as I don't remember where the next one in line was. Hopefully, not another hip toss. There's enough of those. Maybe it's the Japanese arm drag. Nope, it's the uh, Herkarana DDT. So, um, double check these, make sure that they are all in fact rope rebound only moves. Rebound, rope, rebound. Okay, so the computer can only hit rope, rebound moves for signatures and finishers. So we'll do two different tests with these guys. We'll do a regular match, and then we will do a, um, what do I refer to as an AI finisher tester match, which is basically just going to be them starting with, you know, I'll do the AI finisher tester match first, just to... Uh, get out of the way so we'll back out here we'll go to 101 I created a custom match for 101 it is the AI finisher testing it is a normal match just with three starting finishers I will let the compute no I don't oh wait why is it making me choose somebody okay is it making me select a person Okay, I guess we'll find out in a second, but for some reason... <laughs> okay, so if I click this... Okay, let's say I click this side. It just has me choose that side. But if I click down here, it's looking like it's making me choose to be a wrestler. If it is, we'll have to back out and figure out why that's doing that. Don't want to run into some other random bug. Okay, AI finisher <laughs> tester Superstar. one. Okay, good. It's still okay. I guess it's just telling me that I'm I'm choosing the people that are there with that controller. Okay, that's just weird. I don't know why it uh, specifically does that. I guess I never noticed that before. The superstar. And uh, so we've got our two AI testers here. We're gonna go ahead and start this match now. But let's turn entrances off. I think they're off now. I I can't see the Twitch uh, thing is in the way, but <clears throat> so it should be off. Let's go ahead and start this. An AI finisher tester for one versus two in an AI finisher testing match. <laughs> <coughs> and this, uh, just to f more thoroughly explain, this is specifically for signature finishers and only for the AI itself. A human can set it as a finisher and use it. Uh, but for people who like to do federations uh, where they you know, simulate the matches with the AI fighting the actual matches... These these moves wouldn't be allowed to happen if you do universe mode and you know maybe you're doing a triple threat or fatal four way and Braun Strowman's in the match he would not be able to hit a pop up uh, power slam or you know if you wanted to give somebody else one of the any of the other random moves maybe the wheelbarrow suplex or whatever uh, it would not be able to hit those 
So here we go. This, this is AI Tester 1 and 2. And just to go ahead and pause here, special moves. The finishers are Hip Toss 2, DD, uh, and the signatures are Belly to Belly and Hip Toss Neckbreaker 2. Set up our only rope rebounds. And then we'll double check over here. Also, set up only rope rebounds for the uh, signatures and the finishers. And both have finishers to start out. They both have just one finisher, but they both have one. So let's go ahead and uh, see here if anybody can hit their finishing move. I don't believe they will. In fact, um, can I turn on the HUD? The HUD's not on. Normally I don't have that on, but uh, I guess since I'm not fighting, it won't let the HUD be on. Okay. Well, we can see the HUD here. So in a while, we'll check back on this screen right here and see them just collecting signatures and finishers and not hitting them. So uh, we'll continue on here. Sorry. Time. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, Normally I don't, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to do this video, so I'm trying to well, get you guys, to be able to see it the whole time. Normally I would just let them fight and, uh, and check that screen later myself, but, um, yeah, it's not letting me even bring up the menu when it's AI wrestlers, which is interesting, I think. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that. Not too much to talk about here necessarily. Um, I mean, I really enjoy this game. Uh, this is just one bug that was in last year. I say it's a bug because obviously if the moves can be selected in signatures and finishers for creator wrestlers, uh, the game designers would expect the move to be able to be hit by the computer. Um, I know that they wouldn't, I don't think they would put a move in there just because computer players could hit it. Okay. I'm going to let him go at least a couple minutes, see if somebody can get a signature before I uh, give it a pause, see if they can start racking up finisher saves. He's not looking um, it's, a, it's, it's a With strange guys, bug, but I understand it to a degree. I mean, it only affects battle. it because in any other go, uh, situation, point, you can guys, set the person into a position. The you know, if they're laying on the ground, you can do a charge regardless. finisher to have one sound up. If it's a ground finisher, you can just walk up to them. Corner, you walk up, throw them in the corner. They're in the corner, you walk up to them. If they're on the ropes, you set them on the ropes. If they're laying on the mat, you can climb to the, you know, apron and finisher or charge, you know, stand-up finisher. It's the only one that requires throwing and then waiting for the opponent to rebound and come back. Like, it's the only one where you you have to, they're actively moving in order for you specifically to do it. Um, so I understand why. I don't know why the, unless, the see, I don't think it, yeah, I'm pretty sure that other guys hit some moves, but. Uh, it's so almost as if I control him just because he keeps picking, getting the advantage and then not doing long. anything. Both guys are kind of doing it a little bit. Into this match, which makes me think I don't know why these guys are just in. standing here. Maybe this is part of it. Maybe they're trying to hit their finishers and literally now don't know how to. So they're uh, when they have the advantage, they're, they're literally confused as to what to do. I don't know. Let's just check back real quick and see how far we are here. We are at signature for tester number two. Uh, only halfway there for tester number one. Uh, let's see if he can hit that signature or hit that finisher. So far, neither man has hit it. Um, I think just to prove a point in a minute, we'll set two uh, creator wrestlers that have finisher. I mean, we'll do another match with creator wrestlers that have regular finishers uh, and see if they can, in fact, hit them or not. To show that it's not just that creator wrestlers have a problem with hitting finishers in general. Oh, and he reverses it. I made sure these guys also didn't have OMGs. I've seen in the past when I've done this that if you have an OMG, they will hit it um, because it knows basically it knows how to hit that move. It knows how to hit the OMGs. You have to possess uh, a different type so of I think it's just some kind of bug like in which the AI literally cannot understand how to hit the move. Even though we can hit it, uh, if it's not a finisher or signature, which is interesting. And he lands a nice counter, twice as nice. 
So let's see if he's oh God, not hit the signature. Looks like he Something. might have. Oh, I just realized. That, see, normally they would have three finishers, but they can't have three finishers uh, because they don't have the ability to have three finishers. I forgot that's an ability. Okay. Um, so, yes. So he's stuck on the signature right now until he uses it. And uh, neither guy has used their finisher when available. And AI tester number two is stuck on his signature. Yeah, they got some words for each other. Oh, apparently, <laughs> apparently we have a, a run-in here by the Miz. <laughs> I didn't turn these off. So I wonder if we're gonna get a roll-up victory here. That's gonna be hilarious to me. Okay, just a hit. Okay. Well, see now he's got the advantage. He's got the signature. Any uh, any other time, this match would basically be over. It should give him the advantage. Did this hurt our guy? Oh, both guys are pretty damaged. He'll need to find a way to turn things Got the signature. He's actually going really for a pin here, fatigue here guys. which when is very happens, rare when you don't hit a signature finisher. He's gonna need to be careful here. I know this that sometimes I believe personality types. Actually, I don't even know if they have that this year. Um, he gets it with I honestly reversal. don't remember if I haven't checked uh, to see if that's a thing. But I know that last year, certain things you could adjust could affect how often you pinned or how aggressive you were in certain things. Um, but it does not seem to help uh, in 2K17 or in 18 um, them hit these moves they can't hit. So throwing into the corner, not not how do you get these moves off. Still, we're 10 minutes in, have not done it. Apparently going for a penny move, though, could get a victory here. So uh, the pin attempts still do come, but neither man uh, hit their finisher for the entire length of the, this match and now have signatures and neither one able to hit those as well. They don't even attempt it. They, uh, there is no throw in the ropes and then like not being able to connect. There is no throw into the ropes. They, they, never, they never get that first part of of the finisher or signature. What is this about? So this isn't your match. <laughs> now we're getting interference on the other part. Here comes Sheamus. Okay, Miz coming out helping tester number two. I'm sorry, test number one. And now Sheamus coming helping out. Uh, I guess Sheamus the <laughs> would come out and get the very pale uh, red-headed guy. Try to help him out. So that makes sense. Okay, still no one has hit a finisher here or signature. I mean, this would be like the perfect opportunity each of these times they get up. As soon as they pick up their guy, throw him in the ropes. Neither man able to do so. And every time that I've done this, I've never seen a guy attempt to throw someone in the ropes and then, you know, maybe a reversal or an accidental throw in the ropes. It seems like they won't throw into the ropes when they have this signature or finisher. If they didn't have a move there, they would occasionally throw into the ropes and hit a regular move. Uh, but would right. not hit the finisher. So I'm going to go a few more minutes here. We're still both at the signatures, both extremely damaged. And we're going to continue here. I mean, this video is going to be at least an hour long, if not more, so that I, I can show you what exactly is going on here. here still just pulling off moves. No um, I believe next I'm going to... He doesn't appear to be in a hurry Use to probably like the Shelton Benjamin caught down it offline and uh, I don't know, Adam Cole, something. Two different guys I got offline, he just ones that I know have regular finishers and we will see if they can in fact one step ahead on that one. hit their moves. See, I don't know. See, there's like those pauses right there. I know the computer occasionally does those, but I don't know if that's Not it trying so to fast. contemplate how to hit his signature uh, and not being able to do so. See, in that situation, the grapple, that'd be a time where he could throw. I just don't understand uh, the computer, computer can't do it. When I get to 21 minutes on my uh, video so far, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next match. Neutralizes him with the flapjack. We'll pause and look at the, uh, the things one more time, unless this ends it here. Kicks oh. out at two and a half. Right now, I Tester number two trying to get the win.
And then, uh, so after we do this, we'll do the, the match between guys that have regular finishers to prove that point. And then we will put uh, more of these moves on in-game wrestlers to show you that it's not a create wrestler issue. This was just the first uh, showing to let you understand. Oh, look, somebody actually went off the ropes, but this is not a rope move. This is a, I mean, this is a rope move, not a, uh, an Irish whip rebound. So uh, <laughs> from their moment, I thought he was actually throwing him off the ropes and not, uh, not a move. So I thought maybe they actually were to hit it. I will be shocked because I've done this so many times and no one's ever hit it. So if somebody does it one time, I'm going to be irritated. But at the same time, I think you've seen this. They've had finishers or signatures for the, for the 10 plus, maybe 15 minutes of this match. And no one has hit one. Neckbreaker, so We're getting pretty close to being able to quit out of this. And he hits the belly to belly. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and back out now. Um, neither guy able to hit that move. Double check just to one more time show you the hip toss too. So rebound only, rebound only. And him rebound only, rebound only. Only ways you can hit him. There are not... Uh, there are no other ways to hit these moves. So we're going to go ahead and quit it. <coughs> going to go into another match. Uh, this time with two guys who can hit their finishers. And since we're... Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll see finishers hit pretty quickly in this match. I know 2K said they wanted me to make a video. And it's pretty much the only way I can do it. Using Twitch and then uploading, uh, up uploading to YouTube. So... Um, no, wait, nope, not normal. Sorry. Want it to be the same. AI finisher testing. We'll start with creator or custom guys. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Shelton Benjamin. Benjamin. And... <coughs> I guess Adam Cole. I don't have too many. Uh, <laughs> see, have the same attire. Oh, I bet the I bet the tights are different. You just can't see them. Okay, so Adam Cole, um, both computer wrestlers, and I really hope that entrances are still off. It's just it's a lot more loading if I don't do that. I just it's I I hate the placement sometimes of things. This Twitch thing is in the way, so. So these guys have regular finishers. They should be able to hit them right away, and we will see them effectively hitting their finishers. Um, we'll pause right at the start of the match to, f to see exactly what their signatures and finishers are so we can see that they can be hit from other positions. And in all honesty, it doesn't matter what position it is. I know the AI um, struggles at times to hit from other positions, uh, like middle rope uh, diving moves. Last year, they struggled. Um, and uh, sometimes the rope rebound, it was hard for them to get them on there sometimes. I think with the carrying system, it would be easier this year. Um, but but there are certain places the AI struggles to hit them, but tries and can very and can successfully hit them. This is just one mode in which they cannot. So before they fight, let's go check out the special moves. We have standing front and running. And... Oh, that's still... Okay. Um, signature, we've got standing front for both signatures here, and rope rebound possibility, but he won't hit it that way. And then, yeah, so then we're going to Adam Cole, standing strong strike, and standing front, and for entering signatures, standing behind, and standing front. So, all of these moves should be very easily hit, and they both are starting, uh, looks like Benjamin does not have the ability to have three, Cole does. So Benjamin's just got one, Cole's got three, but let's see how this match goes. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for any... Okay, sorry, I, I forgot what his... <laughs> what an, okay, super kick and shining wizard. Okay. Sometimes that's all you I knew can do. one was the super kick, I couldn't remember what the second one was. So we'll see guys, real quick no magical place to be in how long right it takes them to hit a, a finisher or signature. And there, look at the OMG already. So he's, he's lost one finisher, but he used the OMG. He also likes to use the OMGs first a lot of the times. That's, um, it's interesting. 
I know this is not related to. Uh, I'd be mad if this was the finish of the match. Um, this is unrelated. There's catching finishers to me, and then there are catapult finishers. And I feel they should be separated because a lot of people don't do the catapult but would catch. There we go, super kick. So we're what? A minute into this match, he's already hit two finishers. The OMG, which is expected. The computer likes to go for this first. But then he immediately hit another finisher. Now he's going to go for the pin. Uh, he, Shelton should still kick out probably. Has way too much health left. Um, but we've already seen an OMG, which would happen even if you uh, had those other moves. The, the rebound moves as finishers. They would hit your OMGs. But again, look, hitting another finisher here. He goes for the quick pen attempt. That might be enough to put Shelton away. I don't know. There we go. So match already over after an OMG and two finishers there, as opposed to a 15-minute match where no finishers or signatures were hit. So this, uh, these were also creator wrestlers, though. So to prove that it is not just creator wrestlers, now I, I've shown you that if you have regular moves, they will, in fact, hit regular moves. We're going to go ahead and exit out here. <coughs> so the rope rebound will not be hit by the AI. Regular finishers will be hit, be hit by the AI uh, on creator wrestlers. But now we'll go to in-game superstars. We'll just find two random superstars to edit real quick. And then we will go back and do another match here. <laughs> Let's see... Uh, the rear view. I do like the static uh, images that you switch between different menus. I like that. So much downtime in this and I'm not used to making in this kind of video. So usually I'm doing a fed or other things. Okay, so we already use these guys. We'll use... Uh, Use in-game superstars. Oh, no, I guess just all not in-game. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of somebody who might not have an OMG. Probably a lower rank guy. Let's choose Kurt Hawkins. Let's hope he doesn't have an in-game. Uh, there he is. Probably doesn't have an OMG, but... If he does, he can use it. So we already used through um, all the hip toss moves. Let's go change this signature. Okay, so we used the Huracan DDT also, didn't work. So Japanese arm drag, we're gonna go with that. And I'll go with Japanese arm drag two. I'm just gonna skip all the way to J's and it should be close here. Japanese arm drag two, for the signatures. Finishers, he's actually got two, so we'll be able to see more of the moves here. Pop up power slam. See, I think that's a really good move. I just want to use it on AI players. And the power slam five. So that's Kurt Hawkins here. Signatures and finishers. We'll double check when we get inside the match. I mean, I guess I can just do it real quick. Rope rebound only, rope rebound only. And finishers, rope rebound only, and rope rebound only. Okay, we'll back out. Make sure we accept. <coughs> okay, and we'll do this. His buddy right here, Curtis Axel, next to him, probably, again, will not have an OMG move. Um, okay, signatures for him will be... I gotta remember to go back and reset these because that'll be really weird if I'm doing a match with them and I'm like, why won't they hit finishers? <laughs> okay. Um, we did the 
pop a power slam, and then we did a power slam five. So we're now at rebound gut punch. And repeating head slam. Or those finishers we're gonna go for. And it doesn't matter what combination, I've done it to where I've had, in the past, I'm not going to do every, I mean, there are so many ways I could test this. I've literally done a, the same move for both finishers and both signatures, it's the same difference. So. <clears throat> so repeating head slam was the previous one. Uh, did I pass one? No, okay. Sorry. I have to look at one spot on the screen to make sure I'm not passing Sleeper Slam 1. And... I think we might be to the wheelbarrows. We'll see. Oh, no. It's going to be Side Slam 1. No. What is it? I'm on Rebound. Beating Head Slam... Sleeper slam, spin side slam. Okay. So, we're on finishes here. Rope rebound only moves, both. And signature, rope rebound only moves. <clears throat> and I think I'm talking, I, 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 could, I don't need to be talking the entire time I'm doing this, but it, it'd be kind of awkward if I'm not. Uh, at least for me. So, <laughs> I might be repeating myself on occasion, but <clears throat> I don't want to be too bored. So, we're doing Kurt Hawkins now against... Um, so, let's go ahead and do a one-on-one -on -one custom match. AI finishing tested. I doubt both... I don't know. These guys might have three finishers, but I, I don't know. So let's see, we're going to C's here, Kurt and Curtis. Actually, better go to D's because we're at the end. And Kurt. And they're at, wow, this is definitely a SummerSlam match right here, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. <laughs> This would definitely be pre-show. I'm not sure. Maybe if we go back to when Curtis Axel was being pushed like four years ago or something. <clears throat> okay, so now we've sent both of their signature finishers to rebound only. They should both start with three finishers or one, depending on if they have the ability or not. And we're going to say the same thing we saw in the Crater Wrestler match where they're unable to hit any of those moves. Now, the rope rebound in general is a move not hit frequently. So you wouldn't even see it in most regular matches. But if you watch a lot of feds, you actually see them. Okay, so hold on. They're wrapping up. They both have just one finisher. They can't get more than one. So let's go ahead and keep this going now. What's on the line here? If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. This is my first time using either of these guys in this game this year. Abuses but them with an elbow. I'm hoping that this is a, a simple fix, some kind of uh, algorithm to change, some well, little piece of code where the uh, the AI thoughts. can just understand, okay, that's my signature, got to throw him in the ropes and wait for the for sure. rebound, you know, uh, and not try to hit a to different honest, type of move or something. I don't know which one it'll be. Yeah, he wants to send a message in this one, and that message is, I am here to stay. So as we already saw in the previous match, Adam Cole hit uh, the OMG move in followed by two straight Curtis finishers he uh, when he had the opportunity. Of the Both of these Curtis guys so far have not hit a signature move. And, solidified himself as one of the and it will continue that superstars in WWE. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Just brings him down with authority there. 
There are actually many other bugs I've seen, but none of that I've cared enough uh, to report on necessarily. There was a good bug last year that I never said to anybody, and they fixed it for this year's game, and I'm sad. I think they, I'm not sure if it was intentional, but uh, uh, the way that uh, logos were done, you, in 2K17, you could copy anybody's logo and edit it, and in 2K18, you cannot, because of the it's partially because of the way they're applied, uh, but even like when you, when this guy's on, uh, look out. you can take somebody's and, and change the size of it or put a bunch of logos he's in one for like the group him. logos, that he's here. Uh, but you can't invert them like you could last year. Oh, you could take a logo it. if it was like a something facing left and make it face right so you could put it like either side of your tights. Uh, this out. year you can't do that. That's a, a little bit different, but... Um, last year, you basically could make custom logos a real logo, and it would, um, when you could make it a real logo, it would, uh, you could edit it. It was like it became your logo, so this year you're not able to do that. It doesn't actually create a new logo when you do group logos. <coughs> He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. And right now, uh, let's go ahead and double check this here. We're uh, both still at finishers. No, Curtis has got a signature. So he's no longer on the finisher. Neither man hit theirs. Neither one can uh, can go for it. So hopefully this is definitely proving my point that the Summer AI Slam, cannot the hit these moves. The history of sports entertainment. I mean, it sucks that I'm having to make a very long a video in order to detail this. I don't see any other way to do so. I needed to show you He's that I selected the moves, which moves I were selecting. Nothing gentle uh, about that <clears throat> showing you that the AI would hit regular ones and uh, that the AI will not hit that one. Uh, non regular ones. Now big time I could continue on. testing. I could do a regular singles match just to I, I guess I'll do one of those as well. And I'll even do a crate wrestler versus one of these two in-game wrestlers. Some damage um, has been dished out, but so just on. so that you can see no it. Way. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of interference going on. Oh, this time he's coming. Is this going to is this going to DQ him? Is this going to DQ if he hits him? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. I haven't this actually I never uh I never had that happen this year. I don't know what he's there's doing. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay. He's got a finisher. He's trying to hit something, but he couldn't do it. Okay, that was weird. Okay. <coughs> well, that match didn't get to go as long as I had wanted it to, but still, neither man hit their finisher or signature move. I guess I could do a finisher match. It literally would never end. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, it would literally never end if I did a finisher match, and... Um, and had the AI with these two moves. So let's do a regular match instead of a custom match here. And we'll do it between uh, two of our guys here. We'll put uh, Curtis Axel back in. And then we'll go to our custom superstar. We'll go with finisher, I mean, uh, tester number one. He'll get another shot here. And it looks like we're going to SmackDown Live. <clears throat> hmm. You know what I did notice, uh, or I noticed the other day, the truth, the chairs in the audience have the truth logo on them and not a, a SmackDown logo. Um, I don't, I didn't notice if they were on Raw, but I was in... A arena, I don't remember which, specifically which arena, and the truth, the chairs have the truth logo on them, and I just thought that was interesting. I thought to myself, and if I went to one of those SmackDowns or a pay per view or something, and I had a giant truth logo on the chair, I'd be like, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I know pay per views, if you sit on the floor, you get um, special chairs. Okay, here we go. Computer again. 
Rutgers, Axel, and AI tester number one. And so, yeah, let's check the limit here. Neither hat man has a finisher to start, just so that we can prove that we um, did a regular one on one matchup. And man, between I these guys, let them uh, these guys let them start it here. Oh, what impact. Start from nothing, see if they can gain that signature into a finisher, and then won't be able to hit any of them. Well, on the topic of Curtis Axel here, tell us your thoughts. Tell us, what do you think we can anticipate seeing from him in this one? Hey, he's a WWE I've kind of run out of things to say. I might have might talk about other random uh, boots. random other bugs or things I can think of here. I don't know. Tonight, that remains to be seen. Yeah, well, in a match like this, strategy oh. um, so just other random things I noticed in the game. A bunch of random slowdowns, particularly in my career, like when I'm just walking around or trying to run around backstage. There are random slowdowns. Um, Obviously, eight-man matches have a lot of slowdown in them. I don't know. Uh, well, he ran off the ropes, but he didn't throw an opponent off the ropes. Perfectly executed. And for anybody in the chat, uh, since this is on Twitch, anybody watching, this is specifically for really uh, 2K. Going to upload this onto YouTube so that they can see that uh, this particular bug. Uh, so if somebody's watching this and wondering what's going on. Uh, this is not a Fed or Universe or anything else. This is specifically for uh, 2K, WWE 2K18 staff and whatever else to be able to uh, Curtis Axel might be the get along in their departments to today. find a way to fix this bug. Okay, let's check right here where we are. We're at Curtis Axel getting close to getting a finisher here. <clears throat> Be careful, the axe hole is lurking. A quick reversal by Curtis Axel. Good takedown by Curtis Axel. Look out, there's the yeah, I guess uh, our tester is a jobber He's here because he's getting jobbed out by Curtis Axel. Axel's got that signature. No, he actually is all the way to the finisher now. Insane. Okay, skipped over the signature, didn't hit right it when now. he had it. Well, moves He'll like get some other one though. We'll go, we'll go with this video at least as long message. as both guys uh, get the signature the into the finisher uh, and then into another signature where it's stored and then, you know, they don't they don't store their second signature because it will just disappear. In late 2016, Curtis Axel declared he was going back to his roots as a member of the Henning family. Curtis Axel experienced a rebirth and solidified himself as one of the hardest hitting Now, I have previously tested this in multi-man matches as well. It'll be the same thing, trip with threats and fatal four ways. Uh, same difference, they just, no one will be able to hit the finishers. Imagine trying to do a, uh, an elimination chamber with six guys that only have signatures and finishers of these moves. Uh, <laughs> that would just be chaos. A wild overhead punch. Uh, my controller batteries are low, so this might be coming to an end soon. I honestly don't know how much longer you'll be able to hear me. If, I, if I'm if i no longer talking, um, that will explain it. I'll go ahead and end the video after this bout. I think by this uh, fourth match, I've proven my point. So if this just comes to an end, you don't hear me talking anymore, my uh, controller has died. And look, we've got interference. There's a lot of interference in this game, and I had not, I not played enough single player. Here's Dean Ambrose in position. I know now. that I had turned it off at one point and turned back on, but I did not realize it would be this frequent. Is this going to be disqualification? Will the ref see it? Okay, the ref won't see him. I've hit him. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Dean trying to roll out of the ring. <laughs> Never mind, I got this. <laughs> of course. Well, uh, this are kind of ruining the testing, but um, I mean, this match could have gone way longer. But that was, you know, I think that was worth it. Seeing, seeing Dean roll and being unable to get past the legs of Curtis Axel and finally going, you know what? I'm just getting out of the ring.
Okay, so we got uh, we got the AI to give him the win uh, via interference. But uh, again, no signatures, no finishers hit by either superstar for the fourth uh, four matches to prove my point. Hopefully, uh, WW2K, this is enough evidence to show you that this is uh, something that's permanent. It has been this way in WW2K17. I do not know if it's previous into any other iterations. Uh, it is very possible they were if selectable as finishers. Uh, but since... Uh, at least 2K17, rope rebound only moves cannot be hit. If they're if you if you can hit them from a standing position, but they're listed also as a rope rebound, they can be hit. Only the 17 moves that I stated at the start of this match, I mean sorry, at the start of this video, are the 17 moves in which cannot be hit by the computer AI. So I guess that's gonna conclude my video. Hopefully this is the information that you guys needed uh, to try to help 